All right, friends, it's April 26, 2012. Uh, I am sounding the alarm. I won't sound the show for it. I've been getting some personal messages that it's very, very loud in your ear. And I can understand. I imagine it is. But I want to sound the alarm as a watchman, nonetheless. An all clear, I repeat, an all clear for California, New York, and Texas. Now, what this is about is a false prophecy that did not come to pass, given by a young lady by the name of Harmania back on August 17, 2011, that on April the 20th, 2012, God told her, specifically spoke to her, gave her a prophecy that an earthquake would destroy California, New York, and Texas. Now, this is very, very serious. A lot of people all over YouTube and all over the internet are having dreams and visions of word from God day after day. Now, I've waited till the 26th. I have been in contact with uh, Harmania and, uh, regarding this, and I'm getting a sense that it's kind of uh, humorous to her. Maybe I could be wrong. I'm not judging. What I'm doing right now is I'm sounding the all clear as a watchman on the wall. Uh, I left some comments. She hasn't responded. But some of her followers, uh, Christian followers, are like kind of coming at me that she is a woman of God. She hears God. God speaks to her. Well, God told her uh, back in August 17th of 2011, she claims that he was going to destroy California, New York, and Texas, and it did not happen. I'm sounding the alarm of a um, all clear. And prophecy failed. Let me play some of uh, the video for you, and it will be in the link below. You know, I seen a video not too long ago. And someone put out that you know, it's the ones giving the prophecy that are having the word from God. They are the ones that go to the watchman if they want the watchman to sound the warning. It doesn't work that way. You know, I see a great falling away from brothers and sisters. They're following people on YouTube now. Uh, they're having a new awakening. They're they're, they're being uh, uh, they're being led to this new uh, new age Christianity. There's a great falling away. If you set a time frame, a day, a month, a year, you need it's very serious. You need to be held accountable to it. If you say God told you this, it's going to happen on this day or this date or this month. You need to be held accountable. And I'm bringing this to the church. Okay, let's take a listen. People, I have something really urgent to tell you. I'm not making this up. There is going to be an earthquake in California, New York, and Texas. Oh, who are you to say there's going to be an earthquake in these places? Evie, I don't say. God said. God See, says. sometime in July, I was sitting in my room and God spoke in my spirit. And said there's going to be an earthquake in California, Texas, and New York. He also said to tell the people, and that's what I've been doing. He also wanted me to tell people that you must store food for at least three years. And I knew the date that this earthquake was going to happen because he has told me. And I had a map in my room and read my hands in the places where the earthquake is going to happen. Okay, so let me just ask you this question. Who are you? Why did God tell you? How can you do it to my pastor or some other person? Okay, and so when is this supposed earthquake going to happen? And who really are you? First, let me introduce myself. My name is Harmonia Harasini. Most people on earth know me as Jasmine. Why is that even say pastor or some other person? I don't know, but this summer God has blessed me with a multitude of gifts because I have sought him with my full heart, and I continue to seek him. So my gifts are prophecy, I speak about 15 tongues, I have the gifts of healing, and I can see in the spirit realm. Why God bless me with these gifts? Because he has called me to preach, and I'm doing whatever God tells me to do. And so I'm telling people, the earth is what happened, and he wants his people to store food. For how long? About three years. You know, 
Here's what I know it's about God. He always uses the least out of the bunch. And so when they rise up, people will know it's God, not the actual person, because they're listed as the least. You know, Gideon really comes to mind. Hmm. It's odd, real quick, uh, it's odd she's talking about Gideon. And I'm seeing a Gideon connection with these people all over YouTube that are putting out prophecy. There's a young uh, lady on YouTube that has uh, made a prophecy. And and right now, real quick, um, that a wave, uh, a giant wave is going to uh, come across the East Coast and the West Coast. She uh, did another video um, regarding this. Uh, and she's talking about confirmation about Gideon. I don't know what the connection is. That's uh, 777 AEJ is her channel. So just, you know, I have no way right now. She says it's going to happen in the month of April. And we, we still have a few days left. So I'm going to put a warning out of a possible wave because she's saying she heard this from God. But then a few days later now, she uh, doesn't believe in the rapture anymore and believes in this awakening. So I'm not sounding the alarm of a false prophecy. I'm sounding the alarm of a possible, if she really heard from God, a wave of destruction to fall on the east and the west coast. But there's a Gideon uh, connection here. Let's continue. No more deception. Huh? Really? Really? Like, hello? When is Earth going to happen? And how do you tell you? I'll start off by telling you how he told me. Okay, so I'm in the kitchen, right? Now it's in the dishes. And these numbers kept popping up in my head. 420, 420, 420. And that continued for like a couple of days and a week passed and I'm like, ugh. And so, I finally asked God, right, so, what are these numbers? And he said, these are the dates that the earthquake is going to happen. And I'm like, I don't know, I just had like a eureka moment. So I'm like, oh, okay, okay, so he says, warn my people. You're watching this video, am I not warning you? Is... God not warning you through me, but I must tell you, the people living in California, God's people, God has been telling for many years to get out of California because earthquake in California is going to be the worst, and the surrounding areas around these places need to store food. All God's people need to store food because food be scarce. And if even the food and service will be very, very expensive. So God wants me to tell you to store up food like rice and beans. What about people in New York and Texas? God's people, should they move? I wouldn't necessarily say that because God has not given me a word on that. But if he did not tell you to leave God's people, then... It's going to be a major earthquake, but God didn't tell them to move and to vacate the city. You know, a lot of... A lot of uh, a lot of views on this video. Uh, let's continue. I say that you should surely stay. And with this earthquake, there will be many, many tsunamis. Many tsunamis. And that is all he has told me about the earthquake. It's going to be on 420. <clears throat> what is 420? April 20th, 2012. I. I think that's just about enough. I'm going to put the link. You can watch the rest. It's just a little bit more left to the video. Now, we're seeing this quite often, and I don't sound the alarm only as a watchman. Uh, when a date, a time frame has been set, it's very dangerous. I try to explain the severity of this and what the living word says. We remember Harold Camping uh, Church, um, his May 21st uh, prediction. Then he came, he changed the date to October and uh, it's very serious. And what does the living word say? Um, remember, Harold Camping, judgment fell upon him. Uh, he was uh, struck down with a stroke, and he could no longer speak. 
and I believe now he was in a nursing home and his ministry has ended. That's how God takes this very serious. And you as a church need to take it serious as well. A lot of people are giving predictions and prophecies. It's okay to have dreams and visions of a possible earthquake or but when you set a time frame and a date, um, you know, I don't know why, brothers and sisters, why you flock to these kind of uh, channels. And you really, I, I, I just sit in awe sometimes. Why, why do you take it so Scott? Why do you take it so serious? If you met some of these people in a supermarket, I mentioned that to someone the other day, and you overheard them talking about such things or, or about walking with Jesus and you were in a jungle and T-Rex came out or, or, or things like that you would really think the person needed help. You wouldn't follow them. Well, you know, I don't know, friends. Um, I think when you set a date, it's the watchman's job. You know, this is for the church. You need to be held accountable. Leave me comments. Uh, all clear. California, New York, and Texas. If you set a date, you're going to be held accountable. God bless. Leave me comments.